Hello, I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and I would like to take you through Goose, the multi-touch emulator and processor available at gooseflash.wordpress.com. Goose allows you to connect up multiple computers to mouse nodes, and uh, when you do, you arrive at a page, it's on the web, uh, like this, and you submit your application name, and we're connecting. That gives us a cursor. Do you see how that cursor arrived over on the left hand side in the Goose example? So this is one node and with that cursor we can do things like click on a picture and drag it around. And we've got another node over here attached to the laptop and the laptop node can also move that. So I'm going to just move this emulator out of the way a bit so we can see what's happening here. Now we've got our two cursors and I can do things like press and expand the picture. Uh, with either cursor I can move. Uh, with both cursors I can move and they can uh, expand etc. Here we're going to crumple the paper a oh, little bit more. So I'm picking up those represent two fingers. There we go. That's the crumple and now I'm going to pick up the crumple and throw it into the recycle bin. Whoop, there we go. At which point I can use the restore button, uh, click to restore the picture. So that's the, uh, the Goose multi-touch uh, emulator and in behind this is your flash sample. It's processing those multiple cursors and that data, that multi-touch data, could come from anywhere. It could come from the emulator or it could come from real multi-touch data uh, from a touch screen or blob detection. Let's take a look at how this works. Down here on the left uh, we have one of the emulator nodes for the mouse, um, say that's the laptop, and on the right we have the a computer. Um, our cursor in the computer then is sent through to a thing called Robin. Robin is a, a multi-user uh, PHP flash server uh, available at robinflash.wordpress.com. It's part of the same series called Flash Feathers at flashfeathers.wordpress.com and uh, both of those signals are feeding into Robin. Goose comes with a class called Goose Robin which uh, receives those signals, the X and Y positions of the mouse and a, a Z value as to whether the mouse is being pressed or, or not. And then uh, passes that information into Goose Data. Goose Data turns that information into uh, an XML language called ManyML and that then gets sent into Goose. Goose provides a series of methods such as start follow, stop follow, start scale, stop scale and the Goose event class um, provides a bunch of events such as press, press down, press up, press move and there's more uh, than those as well. Um, your sample document class is here and it, um, it includes Goose and Goose Data and allows, the, allows you to put cursors, multiple cursors, into your Flash application and pick up things like a picture and drag it around and, and scale. Goose is available at gooseflash.wordpress.com. It's part of the Flash Feathers series at flashfeathers.wordpress.com and their advanced interface classes, open source. Um, on the site you can see a sample of the code. You can watch a video. There's a video about the code as well, how to implement it all and what it can do and you can read more about Goose on the blog. If you use Goose then please add your link here at the left or if you write about it what have you and it would be great if you could donate. Over on the right are all the flash feathers 
as well as a flash uh, or a flash feathers feed here about uh, what's going on in flash feathers world I'm inventor Dan Zen this has been a look through goose the flash multi-touch emulator all the best <laughs>